All right. Hello everyone. Maniacs of 2000 AD. ABC Slasher here. And today is a very serious review. I just got this figure, this precious little thing, Nemesis Warlock here. And uh, just got today from a mail. And holy Jesus, this dude is amazing. And guess what what happened when I got him? I immediately broke him. Uh, like, uh, you see, like, oh, this sword is not looking straight. Let me just adjust a little bit. And it snapped. You cannot see it because I glue it a little bit. Yeah, so d d don't uh, adjust your sword if you ever will get this figure because it's ma not made of rubber or a soft plastic, no, it's like one of those uh, swords that you put in a sandwich, like this colorful swords in a sandwich, yeah, it's one of those, uh, and the figure itself is actually a really hard solid plastic, like, uh, it's really very well made, like, uh, sculpting and painting is amazing, outstanding, and it's uh, very, very little. I, I don't know. Like, I have this <laughs> junk Normus Rojos here. <laughs> he looks like a baby. He's like, Rojos, please. Uh, yeah. And, and the cape is plastic too. It's really uh, hard, solid. Yes, but there's uh, very little. I don't... <laughs> Um, I mean, the sword is like okay, but and I think the uh, the who created that uh, the Pat Miles, I think he did this, the design. I think he knew that most of the people will try to adjust sword and will break it, or even if they break it, not by the unfold. There's um. A metal thingy inside the sword like uh, uh, strings uh, a metal strings that can uh, adjust it be adjusted so if swords break it's not going to snap off and uh, you're going to lose a part of the sword no it's going to be uh, only inside and mm, I don't like how this hand looks I think it's uh, the hand can't be movable, like uh, turn side to side or something. No, it's it's like that, <laughs> and it's very awkward because this uh, uh, hand looks like a little bit different color, like pale. And uh, this hand is all right. It's like <clears throat> menacing and the claws and uh, yeah. And uh, Nemesis himself, his face is outstanding. But uh, a, a weird thing, like a, a cape, like his spine, it's... Uh, how uh, how is he get get the cape on? How is he, how is he get the cape? <laughs> like, I don't know. He's uh, putting the cape and, and then what? How is this happening? <laughs> but all right. I don't know. And yeah. Mm, I don't know, maybe it's... Too, but be careful with his um, horns or ears. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of Nemesis. I recently started to collecting his comic collection, but I just uh, started to collecting him because he's uh, like hanging out a lot with uh, uh, Rajaos and um, sometimes with ABC Warriors. And uh, Rojo sometimes telling him uh, bad stories while he get on his spiky metal Iron Maiden bed. So, yeah, this is my two cents about this figure. I like the colors, he's gray, but I don't know, I kind of expected him to be green when I saw it on the teasers. But okay, because this is like a first uh, edition of Nemesis Warlock. He was being gray at first, but now he's green. Uh, uh, this booty, damn. Uh, so, yeah, th th that's the figure. Yep. 
and and this is really good that he like coming with the stand because he's probably not going to stand by himself with this skinny ass uh, hooves here. Um, this something something here. What what what's this? The Dyson ID. All right, received. Dyson ID. Oh, uh, hmm. Is this like a, a thousand copies of it? I don't know. Very interesting. So yeah, that that's the figure. Like it or not, I like it. Uh, despite the flaw here, but yeah, just remember, don't try to adjust the sword. You you get as you get it. That's it. That's what you get. D don't try to move everything. You will break it, especially the sword. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.